Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about dielectrics, which are usually associated with capacitors. So dielectrics, kind of one of the weirder words in physics, electricity and magnetism. But here's what it is. Let's first imagine that I have a capacitor, which if we remember from the last video, a capacitor is just two plates like this, usually made of metal. And I guess I never said this in the last video, but what's in between these capacitor plates? It's air, which is very normal for capacitors. But what a dielectric is, it's when you put something in the middle of this capacitor, say a piece of glass or plastic or whatever, and it is going to change the capacitance. As a matter of fact, dielectrics always increase the capacitance by how much it depends on the material, but dielectrics will always have a dielectric coefficient, which is K, or sometimes they call it kappa, and that is gonna be some number greater than one. And the actual equation for what's going on here is, if let's say we have a new capacitance, C nu, it is equal to K times C naught, where C naught was the original capacitance. So then, in other words, when we did have air in between, K was just one for air. Here's a list of some dielectric values that I found online, just so you can get an idea of what some of the normal values are for dielectrics. And the other thing you should know is that as capacitance is increasing, Usually the reason why it's increasing is because the voltage is decreasing or the electric potential is decreasing. In other words, charge usually stays the same. The only time it would not stay the same is if you're connected to a battery, because if you're connected to a battery, then voltage stays the same and charge Q is the one who's changing based on the other capacitance equation. Capacitance equals Q divided by V which we will be using to answer the questions today. Speaking of questions, let's get into them right now. So for this first one, I'm going to say C naught, the original capacitance is equal to 50 microfarads. And then I'm going to insert a dielectric with a dielectric coefficient of 6.0. We're gonna say we're not connected to a battery. In other words, the charge Q is going to stay the same. And I'm also going to say the original voltage or electric potential in this capacitor was 15 volts. And now my question is, I want you to find the value of the new electric potential after I put the dielectric in there. So again, V naught and C naught are before I put the dielectric in and we wanna solve for the voltage or potential after we put that dielectric in. So for this one, if we try C equals Q over V, we are gonna get stuck. The problem is not with C, because we can find that pretty easily. The new capacitance is equal to K times C naught. In other words, six times C naught, which was 50 micro. Remember that micro is 10 to the minus sixth power. And that's gonna be a value of three times 10 to the minus fourth. So we found the capacitance, no problem. But the problem we're gonna run into is that if I wanna solve for the voltage or potential, I need to know what Q the charge is. And right now I don't. So how can I find that? Well, the answer is look at the original values, C naught equals Q over V naught, because then we can find the charge. C naught was 50 times 10 to the minus six equals Q divided by the original voltage was 15 volts. And if I wanna solve for Q, just multiply by 15. So 50 times 10 to the minus six times 15. Plug that in a calculator and we'll get a charge of 7.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. Units are coulombs, but that really doesn't matter right now. That charge is the one I want. So I just need to plug it in back into that other equation I was making earlier, divided by V. And now if I wanna solve for V, multiply both sides by the denominator V and then we'll just have to divide by three times 10 to the minus fourth. So the answer will be 7.5 times 10 to the minus fourth divided by three times 10 to the minus fourth. Fun fact, 10 to the minus fourths do end up canceling if you wanna do that simplification for our, our algebra. And then the answer will just be 7.5 divided by three, 
which amazingly is just 2.5 volts. And that's gonna be the answer for this first one. Very nice. So that's it for the first one. Now I just have one more to look at today. I'm gonna say that we have a dielectric coefficient of K equals 4.7. And now the voltage or potential in this capacitor is three volts. And we know the charge Q is 560 nanocoulombs now after the dielectric. And so my question is, what was the original value of capacitance before I put the dielectric in? That's a great question. If you think you can solve it right now, go ahead, pause the video, give it a try. If not, here's what we do. So first, I think it'd be a good idea to start with the equation C equals Q over V because we have Q and we have V. So in the very least, we can find the new capacitance. In other words, this is the new charge, this is the new voltage, so I'm finding the new capacitance. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if it was the charge that was changing or if it was the voltage that was changing, but really, I don't care, and here's why. So the new capacitance is 560, so the charge was 560 nanocoulombs. Nano is 10 to the minus ninth. Divided by the voltage which they gave us was three. So if we plug that in a calculator, we get 1.87, 10 to the minus seventh, and that is the value of my new capacitance. So now if I wanna find the original capacitance, it's actually surprisingly easy. I just have to do the new capacitance equals K times the original. And since I have the new one, 1.87 times 10 to the minus seventh, I have the dielectric coefficient, 4.7. I can easily find C0 by dividing both sides by 4.7. And that'll get me a final answer of 3.97 times 10 to the minus eighth power. The units for capacitance are farads, and there's my answer. So not too bad. And that's all the problems I wanted to look at today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.